Good evening, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets at end of today's trading session, the uh, Wednesday, the 18th of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com, and you can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, bringing you the stats, end of day stats for European session, FTSE up 27 points, which again, pretty impressive given the fact that Pearson obviously did have a profit warning of down 26% at one time. The German DAX up by 60 odd points, the French CAC actually finished negative. The FTSE MIB as well finished positive, same as yesterday, pretty impressive. Okay, the IBEX Spanish certainly weaker and uh, obviously the stocks, Euro stocks certainly uh, under pressure now. Interesting day, interesting day to say the least. We've uh, we've certainly seemed to be uh, back below 1.07 on the euro, and in terms of sterling, we're still above 1.23. Although we did dip below 1.23 earlier on today, so sterling certainly retraced, but that's still not really helping the FTSE to a large extent. FTSE still under pressure. Oil prices did actually rise to 52, but they're back at 51 now. So again, we'll exert further pressure on the FTSE. Commodities certainly seem to be. Uh, getting hurt at present as the dollar starts to uh, yeah, move higher. In terms of the dollar, let's just bring up the dollar index for you. Bear with me. Please tell me about the dollar index here. Okay, I don't have it actually at the moment. Okay, I'll find it and I'll add it on later on. But for now, we look at look at the USDJPY. Uh, daily chart, the USDJPY certainly making a comeback here. We've certainly held 112.60 and started to uh, potentially push higher. So keep an eye on that. Okay, now in terms of uh, news flow in the afternoon, really it was all about, um, given the fact that we'd had the uh, inflation data, or should we say the inflation data from the US, sorry, and given the fact that we had red book and industrial production, certainly mixed, uh, CPI coming in in line, uh, European construction data coming in line. It was the uh, stronger UK jobs and uh, average earnings that really basically took the, the the potential limelight initially the FTSE did obviously come under pressure on the back of uh, a stronger sterling and obviously once sterling started to weaken but even then that relationship has broken down it was more of an oil sell-off type move and given the fact that you do have stronger jobs data and stronger inflation or stronger average earnings which obviously indicate inflation and that generally means that the BOE is going to be hawkish and if that's the case it basically means that equity certainly will come under pressure, especially with the Brexit aftermath uh, speech yesterday. So you are still looking for risk aversion. Okay, now, so uh, in terms of US, then again, uh, nothing really of any major importance. Uh, the only uh, factor that we really have to consider now really is Miss Yellen's speech at 8 o'clock, and we'll see how, how that affects the actual market itself. Especially specifically currencies. Okay, so again, that'll be interesting now Let's have a look at the actual technical picture and then towards the close the German DAX certainly pushing a surging higher Attempting to close that gap at the 11630 zone. So very impressive on the German DAX it certainly has held uh, Support and is certainly attempting to uh, to make a move higher. So it's all about that gap Okay, I did actually highlight this as well on my daily video in the morning I did explain to you that there is a potential for a bull flag scenario on the German DAX Okay, so bull flag all the way up to a gap fill above. And that certainly seems to be the case. It certainly adds in, in terms of the FTSE and the French CAC as well. So if I bring up the French CAC for you folks, okay. So if I go to the daily chart, as always, bird's eye view. Horizontal support certainly being held. Looking at the 60-minute chart, certainly has thrust higher from the pivot low from below. Okay, so watch out there. And a 10-minute chart, the French CAC, again, you are looking at putting in a potential inverted head and shoulders formation. So... If you just connect that together, so you got the left shoulder here, your head is obviously here, your right shoulder, and now we obviously want to move higher. So if you move higher in the French cat, you are looking at uh, 4875. We're currently trading around the 4840 zone as we speak, okay? And that generally is telling you that the euro is now going to depreciate. So just bear that in mind, okay? Right then, so yes, French CAC bullish pattern, German DAX certainly bullish, wants to close the gap above, again, bear that in mind. Okay, so in terms of the FTSE 100 now, really again, you can see a board base is being built on the FTSE, and it certainly is arguing for a potential thrust higher up to 72.50 and potentially higher. So the main concept here is that the base is being built. Uh, again, if we do retrace, then you are going to be capped at 72.60, and that probably will be an ideal shorting opportunity. So just bear that in mind with the potential ultimate oil gap fill below, okay? And that certainly is a status quo at present. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of European indices. 
Please be sure to visit cfds.com and certainly take advantage of the potential bonus offer. Goodbye.